Good morning, dear children. Let us start with the exercise 9.1. In the previous video, we have discussed the basic concepts related to rational numbers. Today, we'll be doing the practice of exercise 9.1 and 9.2. So let's start. So in the previous video, first two questions, I think question number two and question number three, we have discussed. So let us move on to the further questions. I have discussed the pattern question, I believe and the equivalent right i told you how to find the equivalent let's recap whenever you have to find the equivalent of any natural number or any rational number any fraction the rule is very simple for example if i have to find the equivalent fraction or equivalent rational number equivalent rational number of 4 by 9 i told you the simple rule is what you have to do, just multiply, keep on multiplying this rational number with various non-zero same number. For example, what you will do, we are having 4 by 9. What you will do, 4 by 9 first you will multiply with 2. I told you in multiplication, you will do the same thing, same number multiplied and divide. Hence, what will be getting? 8 upon 18. Next, 4 by 9. Now multiply it with 3, numerator and denominator, you will be getting 12 by 27. Similarly, 4 by 9, 4 into 4 will multiply with 4 now, 9 into 4 that is 16 upon 36. Hence, can I say one thing, that 4 by 9, 8 by 18, 12 by 27 and 16 by 36, all are equivalent functions. Are we clear? Next question. Question number 5 first. Draw a number line and represent the following number. Question number 5. Let's do the question number 5. What we have to do with the question number 5? I think previously also in the previous classes, you would have drawn the number line. This is not a difference between any number line. Just the presentation only. Question number 5. Draw a number line and represent the following number. Draw a number line and represent 3 by 4 for example, minus 7 by 4 for example, it could be 7 by 8 and one more part I think it is minus 5 by 8. What you have to do, the sequence concept is very simple, draw a line first, as it is, okay, we have drawn one line with 0 as a center. Put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc. You can similarly minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, and even we need minus 6 and minus 7. See, in the question, what is the denominator? If I talk about this two parts, see, the concept is very simple. Same denominator means like rational numbers you can draw on the same number line. You need not to worry about that, that I have to draw the various number lines for that. If the denominators are same, you can make the, you can represent all the rational numbers. If the denominators are same, de uh, means represent all the rational numbers with the same number line. That's not a problem. Okay. So we have to represent 3 by 4. It means we need denominator what? 4. Hence what we will do? Very simple. This is what we have to do now. We need the denominator form. It will not bring any change. Very simple. Now, where is 3 by 4? Circle and put the first one. Minus 7 by 4. Where is minus 7 by 4? Here, circle, second part. Now, the denominators have changed. So, these two points, this two dash number, you will be representing on another number line with denominator A. Are we clear? Next, question number 6. So, very simple number line. Just put the denominator. Write the numbers and put the denominator, whatever the denominators you need. In few, um, in solutions you will see, they have not explained it properly. Though they have done what I have done, but they have not explained it properly that how it has been done. So follow this method, this will really help you in normal, even in the higher classes, you can adopt this method, that's not a problem. Okay, question number 6, 
Which of the following pair represents this same rational? It means we have to find the same rational number. Question number six. First part I'm taking minus twenty minus seven upon twenty one, and we have three upon nine. See, here only we can see one is positive, one one is negative, another is positive. How can we one positive and negative rational numbers equal to each other? From here only we can conclude they are not equivalent. Secondly, what we have to do? Okay. Second part. Let's see this part. Minus sixteen upon twenty and twenty upon minus twenty-five. First of all, the rule is very simple. Please convert into standard form. Hence, this is in standard form, not a problem. Standard form. I'm not talking about completely to the reduced form. I'm talking about the sign first. Okay. And this, I told you, whenever sign is there in the denominator part, bring it to the numerator. So minus twenty upon twenty-five will be getting. Now try to cut. It is four fours is sixteen. It is minus four. Four fives are we are having twelve. So it is minus four by five. Let's see. Now again five fours are we are having and five into five. Five multiplied by five again twenty five. Producing they are equivalent. Minus four by five minus four by five. Hence they are equivalent. You have to do with this method. Are we clear? Another method is that cross multiplication we do, and then also we can solve. That is also, but I believe this is the conventional method. Follow this. You can follow cross multiplication also. That is not a problem. Let's do question number seven then. Rewrite the following rational number in the simplest form. Rewrite the following questions in the simplest form. Do remember, question is rewrite the following into simplest form. Please add on something. Simplest form here means in the bracket you can write reduced form, standard form, most important. Simplest form. Another name is reduced form, standard form. So question may come. Question may marry in this form also. So don't get puzzled or. The completely parallel XP. Okay, what is this question? Is the question is not like okay? Clear with this. So let me take first part minus eight by six. Okay, very simple. You can see though minus sign is there, not to worry about the minus sign. Only they are reducible because their LCM is not one. Sorry, their HCF is not one. Not LCM. Sorry, HCF is not one. They are not having common factor, right? They are having common factor except one here also. So can I cut up? If I talk about two fours are and two threes are, hence this is the reduced form. Now the HCF of four and three is one, hence they are in reduced form. HCF of two numbers must be one. It means can I say they must be co-prime of primes in their factors? Clear with this? Now question number eight. We have to compare question number eight and nine are similar. We have to compare. Need not to bother much about that. Minus five by seven, bracket two by three. We have to see which is the biggest number. See, whenever we have to compare, we have to add or subtract. The rule is very simple. Make like terms first. Make the terms like or rational. Making like means denominator must be same. Denominator must be same. That is the most important thing. Are we clear? So what we have to do? We'll make the denominator same. What is the denominator of seven and three? It's twenty one. So you'll write the LCM of seven and three is twenty one. Now twenty one divided by seven, that is three. So minus five into three, as it is. Now twenty one divided by three, it's seven. Two into seven, it is minus fifteen upon twenty-one, and it is fourteen upon twenty-one, which is bigger. Obviously, the positive term will be bigger. Hence, this is bigger. It corresponds to minus five by seven is greater than two by. Three. Even you could have written directly the answer because you know it is negative. It is positive. Positive is always greater than negative. Are we clear? One more method is there: cross multiplication. That also you can follow. Let's see. Another 
method two, it's method one, LC method. We'll follow method one, LC method. Another is method two, cross multiplication method. So I think being a math teacher, uh, I believe this method is perfectly all right. It's a conventional method because if the question is coming for three marks, this conventional method will help you in grabbing the marks. Though marks, marks is not dependent on the length of the question, but some cases we have to see. Cross multiplication may be changing, may be giving the wrong answer. This is a perfect answer because you are making the denominator same. Once you are making the denominator same, comparison part of us becomes very, very simple. Now it's clear. So, minus 5 by 7 and 2 by 3 will cross multiply. Simple. Cross multiply, numerator of this with the denominator of second, denominator of first with the numerator of second. So, minus 5 into 3 and 2 into 7, it is minus 15, it is 14 which is greater, hence this is greater, thus this will be greater. Are we clear? Though it seems very simple, yes, it's very simple, not a problem. But use this as a shortcut. When the question is coming for one mark or MCQ type, then you can use this method. If you are having subjective, try to use this method. Clear? Question number nine is also same like this. It's again comparing part. You need not to bother. It's again comparing. Compare this. You can do it easily. Question number nine, which is later again is same. Same way you have to do the question. Question number nine and eight are same. So I've done the part, rest of the parts you can do it. Question number 10. Ascending order. We have to arrange in ascending order. What do you mean by arranging in ascending order? Let's check one question on this. Let me take second part. Minus 1 by 3, minus 2 by 9, minus 4 by 3. Right? This way we have to do it. Okay, let's see. First of all, again I told you, ascending means comparison. We are comparing. Ascending means smaller to larger. If we are going from smaller to larger, at least we are comparing. If we are comparing, what is the rule? Yes, very good. The rule is very simple. Make the rational numbers like. Making rational number like means having the same denominator. That's very good. I know you people are answering. LCM of 3 and 9 and 3. It's 9 only. LCM of 3, 9 and 3 is 9. This way you have to write the reason also. This is very, very important. It will be minus 1 into 3, not a problem. Minus 2 into 1, not a problem. Minus 4 into 3, right? If I write minus 3 upon 9, minus 2 upon 9, minus 12 upon 9. Now tell me which is the smallest number. Many of you think maybe this no. Because we are having negative signs, we know that whenever negative sign is there, larger number is more smaller. Because it is more negative. More negative means very small. Hence, minus 12 by 9 is smallest. After a number bigger than this is minus 3 by 9. After that, minus 2 by 9. Don't you think your answer is complete here? No. You have to ascend this, not this. Hence, minus 12 by 9 corresponds to minus 4 by 3. Minus 3 by 9 corresponds to minus 1 by 3. And minus 2 by 9 corresponds to minus 2 by 9. Hence, this is the perfect answer. This is the ascending order. Are we clear? We have to follow. Any doubt anyone is having in this? Okay, let's come to the question one first. Insert the rational numbers between. Insert least five rational numbers between. Any rational numbers will be given to you. You have to insert the rational numbers between them. Actually, if any two rational numbers are given, we can insert as many rational numbers as possible because there are infinite rational numbers between two rational numbers. Do remember, there are infinite rational numbers between two rational numbers. It is very, very important to know. Clear? Let's see one question. It is 
minus 1 by 2 and 2 by 3. Again, inserting. How can you insert? For inserting, there must be a basic. That basic is again the denominator must be same. Then only you're able to, right? So, one method is by taking else. Another method is just how can I multiply 2 and 3 with, okay, so that they have a same denominator. They can have same denominator in the form of 6, in the form of 12, in the form of 18, in the form of 24, in the form of 36, etc. Yeah? Because 6 is also common 12. So they can have any denominator, 6, 12, 18. But they must have same denominator. It means this rational denominator must be 6. If we are considering 6, this must also be having 6. So let us take how can I make 2 into 6? Obviously 2, 3 is so, right? So I multiply and divide with the same number, I will be getting minus 3 upon 6. Similarly, how can I make 3 into 6? Obviously by multiplying by 2, I will be getting 4 by 6. So I got minus 3 by 6, I got minus 4 by 6. See what is the benefit? Now since the denominator is same, I can know, I can insert even any number. I can insert minus 2 by 6, minus 1 by 6, 0, 1 by 6, 2 by 6, and 3 by 6, and so on. See, are we clear? Anyone, any doubt with this? With this, exercise 9.1 is over. 9.2 we will do later on. In the next coming lecture, I will explain you how to do exercise 9.2. Till then, take care.